Hey guys, it's Lisa here from Recreated Designs and I am back with another DIY tip of the day. And today we're going to be talking about milk paint. So I want to give you some tips and tricks on using milk paint. If you've never used it before, it can be a little bit tricky because it does come in powder form and you mix it yourself as you need it. So these are just a couple of things to keep in mind if you're going to use milk paint. First of all, it usually comes in a packet like this. Um, there's a whole bunch of different brands, but it comes in powder form, true milk paint. So what you're going to want to do, and I'll use um, this one here. So the first thing you're going to do is open your packet and this is really important. This is a really important step. Okay, so once you open up your milk paint, um, you want to make sure that you shake it up. Some of that limestone and clay can settle at the bottom and you want to make sure that you fold the top over. Um, sometimes I find they don't seal very well, so just fold the top over, make sure you grab it and give it a good shake. You can't actually do that when it's like this because usually there's no air in there, so there's no, it's not gonna sh to mix up. So just open it and let your air in, seal it up, and give it a good shake. You wanna make sure that all the pigment and all of the minerals are all mixed up in there. Okay, and then your milk paint is ready to go. So when you open your milk paint, you can store it in the bags like this that you have that it comes in. But like I said, sometimes they're a little difficult to get closed. So what I normally do is just dump my bag right into a mason jar container. I put a little label on it and I can put them on the shelf. Milk paint lasts forever because there's nothing in it yet. It's just the powder form. So you can keep it for years and years and years, which is, is why it's a great investment too. And it's um, usually half the price of, of other decor paints out there. So pop it in a jar, it makes it super easy to store it and to keep it. So to mix milk paint, because you do have to mix it yourself, you can, it just gets mixed with plain old water. <clears throat> so you can mix it in three different forms. You can mix it as a full on paint, you can mix it as a stain, or you can mix it as a wash. So for the full on paint, you're going to want to use, you can use any sort of scoop, depending on how big you want to make it. And you're going to mix one part powder to one part water. So if you're using, um, this one is a tablespoon, one tablespoon of paint, one tablespoon of water. Now that being said, I always err on the side of a little less water. It is always easier if your paint doesn't thicken up as much as you'd like to add water after, but it's very difficult to keep adding power to powder to get it to the consistency you want. So add a scoop of, of um, the powder mix and just a little bit less than the scoop of water. So to make it as a full on paint, like I said, once one part mix, one part water, to make it as a wash, so if you're gonna do a wash over something, um, one part mix, two parts water. And then to make it as a stain, it makes a fantastic raw wood stain, one part of the mix to three parts water. So it's going to be very liquidy, but it will make a gorgeous stain. And I'll show you a little um, block here with it on. So you can see here, this is full on paint. This is a stain, but it's also got a stain over it, and then, sorry, a wash and a wash over it, and this is the stain. So it gets lighter each time. It's not as opaque, okay? So then when you go to, once your paint is mixed, mix it in any sort of container, put your stuff in. You can use anything you want to mix it. You can use a fork, um, one of the little whisks. You just want to mix it so that you're breaking up all those little powdery pieces in there. Once you have it completely mixed though, you need to make sure that you let your milk paint sit. Let it sit for at least 10 minutes because all of the limestone and clay have to absorb the water. So if you try and use it before that, it's not going to be ready. So just let it sit 10 minutes, even longer if you can, and then it's perfect to use. Just remember when you're using milk paint, usually the first coat on a piece of furniture or home decor doesn't look the best. Keep going, give it another two or three coats. The great thing about milk paint is it dries extremely fast and you can paint another coat usually within about a half an hour. 
If you have paint left when you're done, you can absolutely keep it. You don't have to throw it out. I've kept mine in the fridge for up to a week. So just in your container, seal it um, with some plastic wrap or something like that. Put it in your fridge. It'll separate overnight, but if you go to use it the next day, just give it a stir and mix it back up again, and then you're good to go. Um, one other thing I want to mention is when you're mixing your milk paint, uh, some people tend to put it in a jar and then put the water in and shake it. It does make it nice and smooth, but the problem when you mix your milk paint in a jar is it aerates it. It gives it lots of bubbles and it takes a really long time for those bubbles to dissipate so that they don't show up on your furniture. So unless you're going to mix your milk paint one day and use it another day, don't mix it in a mason jar. It's much easier to just mix it by hand in a container with a fork, a spoon, a whisk, whatever you want. So when your piece is finished and you've got your milk paint all over your piece, um, it does need to be sealed if you're not using it as a stain. It needs to be sealed um, just to protect the paint because there's no latex or acrylic in it. So um, I have done pieces where I haven't sealed it and it's been fine, but if it gets a lot of wear, you might want to seal it. And you can seal it with a number of things. You can seal it with um, just some furniture wax. You can seal it with a clear coat, a water-based clear coat, or you can seal it with my favorite, which is hemp oil. Hemp oil will dry, it doesn't change the color, and it provides a nice top coat. So there you go, just a few little tips and tricks on using milk paint. I hope that has you um, started. It's it, uh, A lot of people are intimidated by milk paint because you have to mix it yourself, but don't be. It's really easy to use, and I have to say it's actually my favorite paint to use. You can get a beautifully authentic look with it because it's been around for thousands of years, and it's the ingredients are so few. So enjoy, have fun, and let me know about your milk paint adventures. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you back with another DIY tip of the day soon.